Evolution of Rafiki. The Lion King, 1994. Rafiki first appears in the opening scene when he travels to Pride Rock to perform newborn Simba's presentation ceremony. During the movie, Rafiki sings a nonsense chant. Asante sana squash banana wee wee nugu mimi hapana. This is a Swahili playground rhyme that translates to thank you very much, squash banana. You're a baboon and I'm not, like Hakuna Matata, no worries. The chant was heard by the movie makers on their research trip to Kenya. Rafiki travels to the jungle where Simba lives with Taiman and Pumbaa and teaches him lessons about learning from the past. Yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it, and then wax him with his stick. During the battle for Pride Rock, Rafiki saves Simba from Banzai by whacking him with his stick while fighting many more hyenas. At the end of the movie, Rafiki presents Simba and Nala's newborn cub. Taiman and Pumbaa, 1995. In the episode, Good Mousekeeping, it is revealed that Rafiki can grant wishes and can even take some of the wishes back. In another episode, Rafiki's Apprentice, Rafiki's stick is revealed to have magical powers. He explains to his nephew, Nefu, that the gourds on his stick are the key to his mystical abilities, and also reveals through a painting that his stick was given to him by his grandfather when he was a young mandrel. He is also shown to have a collection of sticks, which may be selected, if the old one gets broken or lost. The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, 1998 Rafiki is more closely involved with the affairs and politics of the Pride, and is often seen with the lions. Mufasa's spirit persuades him to bring Simba's daughter Kiera and Zira's son Kovu together as a way of uniting the outsiders with pride. Rafiki tries to make them fall in love by singing to them about a place called Upendi, which means love in Swahili. In the end, he blesses the union of Kovu and Kiera, and Kovu is welcomed into the pride. Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed in at the House of Mouse, 2001. Rafiki made several cameo appearances during crowd shots and the finale song. House of Mouse, 2001. Rafiki's most memorable scene was in the episode, The Stolen Cartoons, where Taiman yelled that there was a fly in Pumbaa's soup, and that he wanted one as well. Taiman then asks what is in Simba's soup, and he replies that it is Rafiki who is bathing in his soup. The Lion King 1 and a half, 2004. Rafiki appears briefly in this movie, teaching Taiman the philosophy of Hakuna Matata, talking to Taiman's mother about her son, and later convincing Taiman to follow Simba to Pride Rock to confront Scar. The Lion King, Diamond Edition, 2011. Rafiki appears in two scenes in the blooper version. First, he is falling asleep on a rock during shooting of a scene with Simba. Second, he is carrying baby Simba but stumbling and letting Simba fall from Pride Rock. The Lion King on Broadway, 2015. In the musical, the character of Rafiki was significantly modified. Because director Julie Taymor felt that the story lacked a strong female character, Rafiki was changed into a female mandrel and sangoma. She acts as a narrator throughout the story, at one point speaking to the audience in a click language for comic effect. The Lion Guard, Return of the Roar, 2015. Rafiki, along with Simba and Nala, hears Kion's roar of the elders and feels that Kion is ready to become the leader of the new Lion Guard. Though Simba is against the idea, feeling Kion is not ready, Rafiki is an avid supporter, believing it to be fate. The mandrel quickly convincing Simba to go along with informing his son of his destiny, and in order to do so, he and Rafiki taking the young cub to a hidden area of Pride Rock, where paintings on the stone walls tell the story of the previous Lion Guard, which was led by Scar. Rafiki is also seen, where Simba, Nala, and he are witnessing a Kai on Lead Lion Guard successfully defending the land from a hyena invasion. The Lion Guard, 2016. In the episode Bunga the Wise, Bunga misinterprets a compliment from Rafiki and declares himself Sage of Hakuna Matata Falls. He then takes it upon himself to solve all problems within the Pride Lands, but to bizarre results. In the end, Rafiki explains he did not finish his statement, and clarifies that honey badgers are smart when they think things through. In the episode, Beware of the Zimwi, Rafiki tells the guard of a legendary creature known as the Zimwi. His stories spook the others, giving them anxiety throughout the rest of the episode. The Lion King, 2019 Rafiki appears as notably less eccentric and playful than in the original version. Rafiki arrives at Pride Rock during the birth of Simba, where he presents him. Later, Rafiki goes to his tree where several bugs help him complete a painting of Simba. 
instead of using gourd juice to complete the painting like in the original movie. Later, as an adult Simba returns to Pride Rock, Rafiki sets out to find his staff and calls it an old friend to help Simba stop Scar from ruling the Pride Lands. This scene was not in the animated version because in the original movie, Rafiki tells Nala that Simba returned to Pride Rock to take place as king. During the final battle against Scar, Rafiki uses his staff to save Zazu from the hyenas, whereas in the animated version, he saves Simba instead of Zazu. Pinocchio, 2022. Rafiki appears as a figure character that is raising the newborn Simba.